Hello friends, you're welcome to The Key Point. If this is your first time you're joining us in our channel, please kindly hit on the red subscribe button below the video. And please don't forget to hit on the bell button beside the subscribe so you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you. Hello friends, you're welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please, if you are seeing our our videos or this article for the first time please don't forget to hit on the red subscribe button below the video and also hit on the bell button so you won't miss any of our news thank you the Helen of our news says Supreme Court adjoins Sokoto Kanu Imo three other governorship appeals the Supreme Court on Monday suspended the hearing of the governorship appeals from six states of the Federation due to the sudden illness of one of the judges. The appeals are from the governorship elections in Imo, Bauchi, Sokoto, Kano, Plateau and Benue State. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had declared Governor Emeka Ihedeoha of Imo State, Bala Mohamed of Bauchi State, Aminu Tambawal of Sokoto State, Abdullahi Ganduji of Kano State, Simon Lalong of Plateau State and Samuel Autumn of Benue State as winners of governorship elections in their respective states. The Apex Court, which started sitting at exactly 9.02 a.m., could not proceed due to the noise level in the courtroom. This prompted the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tanko Mohammed, to give an order following the inability of the security operatives to control the crowd of politicians and their supporters who had besieged the courtroom to witness the day's proceedings. The seven-member panel rose and said it, it will not reconvene if the noise inside the court is reduced. Justice Mohammed, before the court rose, directed lawyers representing the parties in each appeal not to appear with more than five lawyers in order to decongest the courtroom. Thereafter, lawyers in each of the cases were limited to five and politicians who were not parties in any of the appeals were asked to leave the courtroom as the police deployed a dock to assist in the decongestion process. After carrying out the directive of the Chief Justice of Nigeria to decongest the courtroom, about 10 minutes later, the court reconvened and lawyers involved in the Kanu State Appeal announced appearance. When the lead counsel to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Joseph Doadu, stood up to make his argument, the Chief Justice of Nigeria announced that one of the justices hearing the case is critically sick. The Chief Justice of Nigeria told the crowd court that the crowded court that due to unforeseen circumstances beyond control the court would abruptly rise because one of us is sick consequently justice Mohammed led the other justice out of the court to their chamber to enable them to attend to the alien judge whose name was not disclosed at about 40 minutes later one of the registrars of the court announced that all appeals in the case have been adjourned to January 14th. The six appeals before the Apex Court were brought by various aggrieved candidates in the March 9 elections in the affected states. The Apex Court will hear the appeal filed by the governorship candidate and is expected to deliver judgment promptly or announce a date for the judgment. Okay, guys, uh, today is actually the 14th of uh, January. Uh, it was supposed to be held yesterday, which was the 13th. And due to some unforeseen circumstances, according to the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Mohammed, he uh, said uh, they can't hear the appeal yesterday. So today we are still hoping and listening and waiting to hear from them. So please stay tuned and don't forget to hit on the bell button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our videos thank you okay let's quickly look at the 
next story we have to share here. The next story here says, Supreme Court affirms Ikpe Azu's election as Abia governor. Ikpe Azu's election as Abia state governor. The Supreme Court on Wednesday affirmed the election of Okezie Ikpe Azu as the governor of Abia state. Justice Paul Galinji, a member of the seven-member panel, read the court on unanimous judgment. He said that uh, the appellant relies solely on the smart card readers in providing their leash over voting was fatal to their case. Mr. Galinji also held that the law is clear that the petitioner must tender the voter's registrar and should relate the document to the specific area where the document were affected. According to the judge, the card reader print out tendered by the appellant at the tribunal cannot be inserted into the Constitution or Electoral Act, which stipulates the yardstick, the yardstick for providing over voting. The judge said that the appellant failed to provide credible evidence to prove their case. He finally held that the two lower courts are right to dismiss the appeal and it will suffer the same fate in the Supreme Court. Accordingly, the appeal lacked merit and equally dismissed, he ruled. The candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Alex Oti, and his party had approached the Apex Court to set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which upheld the election of Governor Iqbazu. Okay, guys, this is coming from Abia State. Kindly still stay tuned as we'll be giving you more news on this channel. And please, if you have any comment, kindly hit on the comment section and drop your comment. The next year, what we have is Supreme Court affirms A. Rafael's election as Kaduna governor. Supreme Court affirms A. A. Rafael's election as Kaduna state or governor. The Supreme Court on Wednesday affirmed a decision of the Court of Appeal which dismissed a petition by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, against the election of the Kaduna State Governor, Nesaya A. Rafael, reiterating the point made by the appellate, appellate court on Wednesday. The Supreme Court, in an anonymous decision, said the PDP and its candidate failed to prove the issues raised in the allegations and subsequently dismissed the petition. The PDP and its candidate, Isa Ashiro had asked the court to set aside the decisions of the Court of Appeal and the Kaduna State Tribunal, which both affirmed Mr. A. Rafael's election. Mr. A. Rafael had been declared winner of the Kaduna State Governorship elections with 1,045,427 votes, defeating Mr. Ashiro with over 200,000 votes. Okay, this is coming from Kaduna State. Mr. A. Rafael has been confirmed by the Supreme Court as the governor of Kaduna State. Okay, guys, still stay tuned. Don't forget to hit on the comment section of the video and drop your comment and also subscribe to the channel. Please don't forget to hit on the bell button so you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you and have a nice time.